Breaking news for you has to do with Ron Joyce. You will know him if you are a hockey fan as a former NHL player, also the co-founder of Tim Hortons. He has died. He was 88 years old. We are pulling more details. Natasha Fata working on that. What have you got, Natasha? So Hannah, one of the most preeminent uh, businessmen, philanthropists, and the guy who's made his way into millions of Canadians' lives every day without them even realizing it, Ronald Joyce has died at the age of 88. Um, this is a man who is affectionately referred to as the Donut King because this multi-billionaire teamed up with Tim Hortons and created this multinational franchise where people get their double-doubles, they get their Timbits, they get their everyday snacks at a very affordable price and created an empire in this country. But in fact, he came from very humble beginnings. He was born in October of 1930 and at a very young age, his father died. When he was three years old, his father died. His mother had to take the three uh, children, move into a home, take care of them. And remember, this is in the 1930s, a very difficult economic time in the country. They didn't have electricity or plumbing in the home. But despite those humble beginnings, he says that that's what gave him the drive to work mm -hmm. hard, to make millions, to find success in life, to work, to make something of himself. And so in 1960s, he teamed up with Tim Horton to create this franchise. It was incredibly successful. But of course, we know he lost his partner early on during that relationship because Tim Horton was killed in that car accident. And he spoke with CBC News back in 2006 about that moment when he found out his friend had died. Let's have a look at that. I got home, he wasn't there, so I assumed he went to Buffalo. So I, I just went to bed. And about 6 o'clock in the morning, I got a call from Punch him luck. And I always remember the words. You know, I asked the phone, he said, Ron, Punch. Yeah, Punch, what's up? Tim's been in an accident. And I said, how bad is it, Punch? He's dead. And that was a shocking mm -hmm. bit of information for him to get. But beyond that, there was the pain of the relationship with Tim Horton's wife, uh, his widow. And because we know that Ronald Joyce bought out her shares of the company and she had accused him of stealing from her, he has denied that right till the end. But nevertheless, he went on to be incredibly successful. He sold Tim Horton's for $600 million back in 1995, but continued to be a philanthropist and a businessman. He had different companies. He had... Um, a resort that he had opened up. He won the Order of Canada. You're looking at the cover of his book that was published in 1992, uh, excuse me, in 2006. We'll continue to gather details for you. I know he has a whole bunch of kids, so they'll be mourning that as well. Um, thank you, Natasha. We'll look for more. Okay.